hear that? I was gonna say it's the sound of nothing, but it's actually the sound of um, Blippi and Miss Rachel, but it's also the sound of no children crying or screaming. It is so nice and lovely for the first few hours of the day, Monday through Thursday. I can hear my thoughts. It's like a whole new world. Also the happiness in my heart. <laughs> Since I found this creamer, if you guys follow me on Instagram, then you know when I found it. But I found it at Kroger and I had every intention of, I told, <laughs> I told Josh, I was like, whenever I found this creamer, I'm gonna go in the store and I'm gonna grab all of them that are available. I'm so serious, I'm not kidding. And whenever I went in there, even the first one that you could grab was almost out of my reach. It's like they were all like pushed back and the first few that I would have been able to reach were already, someone already grabbed them. So they probably had like five or six of these, probably like six. And I was only able to get like three. Actually, a random man helped me grab them and I felt bad to have him like reach any further. So I'm on my second one. This is my second one and it's just, it's the perfect creamer. I wish it wasn't just only seasonal. I have not had coffee out. Like, I don't even care. I'm about to leave and do some shopping and stuff today. And normally that would be an excuse for me to go to Starbucks. And I like, I just, I don't care. I'm telling you guys, it's, it's so good. Miles is, what are you doing, Ham? Get out of my lazy Susan. He keeps getting in there and just pulling all the canned goods out and stacking them and lining them up and doing all the things. No organization, like everything in here just looks. Are you clapping about this situation? Everything, like see how some of them are upside down and stuff? Because I just throw them back in there when he's done because he takes them out every single day. And also, do you see all these mosquito bites on his face? Oh my gosh, look at his neck. He has one on his eyebrow too, bro. Are you gonna be okay? They're like all over his face too. Bryce has one right here in between his eyebrows, which is not good because picture day is tomorrow. So we're just praying, praying that he doesn't scratch it and it can go away. Before then, my sister said that they like airbrush the photos now. So maybe like, maybe it'll be fine. Kitchen looks so cluttery. Definitely my sink's full. Definitely full. Didn't want to do it last night. My dishwasher's full and my sink's full. We'll get to that later. Allison bought me some little like pumpkins and like fall decor. She got me this candle and this stuff's kind of just sitting here for now. She got me this tray too. I can't decide what I want to do with it. I was going to put the tray with some stuff on it in the middle of the table in the dining room, but I knew I needed this to be where Miles couldn't reach it. And I just have so many coffee syrups and stuff that this is just definitely just sitting here for now. Like this little corner of it looks cute and gorgeous to me, but this does not. So we gotta figure that out. This isn't gonna stay here. I just kind of sat it there. It's rose water and coconut milk and it smells really good. Also my little Nespresso pod holder is full of nothing but Milazio pods because that is what I use with my delicious creamer. So it's all I'm gonna be drinking for the foreseeable future. But the color of the pods is perfect because it's just like fall vibes. I'm about to close these blinds in the dining room because I'm gonna show you guys the curtains that we have hung up and you guys tell me your opinion. So these just came from Walmart, they're white with like gray detail on them and then these gray ones I already had. You guys saw me buy some white ones the other day at Walmart. I took those back because they were shorter and they came to like, I don't know, like right here and it kind of just looked, I didn't like the look as much. So let me know what you guys think of these curtains. I'm conflicted. I like the look of curtains because I feel like it makes it look more cozy, but I don't know. Everyone I've showed likes them. I'm just an overthinker. So that's the first and only window to have curtains on it in the house. I'm gonna get curtains for our room next and then I'm gonna move on to the boys' bedrooms because I think it's just gonna look so much better. I'm not gonna be as particular in those rooms. It's definitely just gonna be like a solid solid color curtain, which is kind of what I thought about doing in here. Um, that light really, it just gets in the way. But I don't know. I can always change it if I, if I end up just not liking it. I don't know if I showed you guys. We hung that, that was hung up in like on top of our TV in the old house, so that's not any different. We have this big space here that we don't know what to do with. Okay. Now that you guys have had a tour of my house, I'm gonna finish my coffee because I do wanna get out of the house. I feel like I need to get out of the house and I wanna just get like a couple of like little inexpensive like fall items that will make me happy. I like to replace the dish towels. Now this, this dish towel is a fall one and I got it last year, but I like to have two hanging here that match and I only have this one. 
So we're just gonna see what we can find because they're they're like two dollars, three dollars, super cheap. Plus, this one made it through last year. I'm sure it won't make it through this year without one of the kids staining it. Maybe we'll find like a fall coffee mug moment. I don't have I only have like one fall coffee mug. I think I need one. Side note, this is all that Miles has been doing lately. He grabs these two notebooks and a pencil. And he just like scribbles in the notebook and it's so cute. I don't feel like Liam or Bryce did this at two. I don't know if he needs, if I need to bring out the coloring books and the crayons or if he's gonna start, you know, drawing on the walls. We gotta change your clothes, booger. Okay. Look at what he has, just everything out. I got him dressed so he looks much better. So cute, but look, look at this. What is that? Why? What is that, goosh? Huh? The level of disgusting that my van is right now, if you guys saw my passenger floorboard, you would judge me. You would judge me. And I feel like I just finally got it cleaned out recently. I don't know. We're about to head to Walmart. I considered going somewhere else, like trying to go to Home Goods or somewhere super fun, but I have to drive like 30, 35 minutes to do that. And I don't know if I'm up for that today. We do have big lots here as well though. We have to go to Walmart. We need diapers and such things. So we have to go to Walmart, but maybe we'll run in big lots first. Yeah, we're doing that. Okay, under five doll hairs. They have some cute little, oh, that's cute. Maybe we need this for the coffee area. What do we think? How much is she? Two ninety nine. Yes. Yeah. Get these. That's cute. This is really cute too. I think we need one of these. They have some of these little hand towels. That's cute. That green one. Nomies. <laughs> kind of like this one. There's literally already aisles and aisles of Christmas stuff out. This is the aisle that I'm looking for. Oh my goodness. I love fall decor is probably my favorite. I really like this one that says home. And then this one's really pretty too. And $29 and $23. So cute. So there's this pumpkin, but there's also this one. Like which one's cuter? This one? The music's really loud in here, y'all. But look at this. Oh my gosh. Ooh, look at that pumpkin. Oh my gosh, there's too many pumpkins. Oh my gosh, look at this little outdoor mat. That is so cute. How much is she? $12.99. You think Josh would like it? They also have this little throw pillow that says sweater weather. He's being an angel, y'all. I don't need to talk too soon, but look at his face. You were ate up yesterday by the mosquitoes, bro. Here's a little overview for you guys if you kind of want to see what they have at Big Lots because there's a bunch. Like they have a huge selection. There's two aisles like this already. Ooh, they have these little pumpkins in here. Here's another cute throw pillow. These are cute. They're little wreath hangers. Are you having fun shopping with mama? What do we have so far? We don't have a lot in here. We just have a pumpkin and this for our little coffee area and then this for the front door i thought miles was going to require a snack but he did not i don't think that's too much goosh i think we did a, a nice small amount of items but we have not been to walmart yet so we'll see how that goes we're not having as much luck in walmart so i guess we're just going to grab all the boring stuff we need we need a happy birthday bag for allison this one's 98 cents so you're coming home with me we're just gonna make it super pink and girly, I guess. Diapers. Every day of my life, I feel like I'm buying diapers. Okay, you guys know I gotta get a pumpkin plug-in, right? pumpkin patch. They do have some spooky nuggets. We're gonna get these. Yeah, they're spooky nuggets. We made it out with no meltdowns. He was so good. There's a store nearby that I still want to go to because I didn't find a hand towel situation. There was, there were no fall ones in Walmart. But I don't know if I'd be pushing it because he's been like an angel child. And I don't know if going in one more store would be pushing it. But we could really be in and out. I really feel like we could. We just got home and I'm gonna go ahead and switch out my little plug-in thing now. I don't even know what scent I currently have in there, but it's definitely running out. 
a really triggering song just came on the radio and I had to like right as I was pulling in my driveway and I had to turn it off. Like I listened to it for a little bit cause I thought that I could, but I could not. Started to tear up and I was just like, girl chill, not today. Today has been a good day. We're not doing this today. So it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna put this on like low cause these like warm fuzzy scents can like be overpowering to me. So if I get one that has like a cinnamony scent to it or something that smells kind of food-like, I can't crank her all the way up. Since it feels like fall outside, we're gonna have a crock pot meal for dinner. I have everything set out that I'm gonna need. I went ahead and browned the ground beef and then chopped up my onions and peppers. I'm gonna have down below everything that you need for this dinner if you're interested in it because it's quite a few random ingredients, but it is like a dump and go. So it's gonna be very easy. I'm also filming this meal for TikTok. So I'm kind of like double filming, which by the way, people on TikTok make fun of me for how I say meal. Do I say meal, like, like if I'm saying kids meal or a crock pot meal, have you guys ever thought that I say that weird? Cause TikTok has been making fun of me, but I know I've said the word meal in my YouTube videos a million times and none of you guys have said anything so there's that we're gonna go ahead and throw this together i didn't say what i was making it's called goulash i think that's how you say it i don't know josh wanted me to make it and it didn't sound too bad and it will probably be a good meal to have leftovers with so this is gonna be our first time trying it so the first thing you need is a pound and a half of ground beef like i said i already browned this and drained it so we're just throwing it in you're gonna need a cup of chopped onions and then a cup of chopped red and green peppers a large can of crushed tomatoes oh my goodness and then a small can of diced tomatoes you're also gonna need one and a half cups of water and one and a half cups of beef broth, two tablespoons of soy sauce. You need two cloves of garlic. I'm using this minced garlic. You also need a tablespoon of parsley, one to two tablespoons of Italian seasoning, and then you need two bay leaves. Give her a little mix. It called for Worcestershire. I don't know how to say that. I couldn't find any in the house, so hopefully it's gonna be okay. So then we're gonna cover it and we're gonna cook it on high for three and a half hours. And then we're gonna come back later to add in the pasta. Now that dinner is in the crock pot, we're going to go ahead and fix this really quick. Serious question, is there a better filling than an empty sink, dishwasher running, and dinner in the crock pot? I don't think there is. So I bought one of these to hang this with, and I don't know if it's what most people use or not, but see how our little pumpkin looks. <gasps> That's adorable. I wish we had a storm door. I had to kind of try to like clean this door off because it had gotten really nasty, but we don't have a storm door, so what can you do? So now that all of that is done, Miles is laid down for a nap. Bryce is hopefully gonna have some quiet time. I'm gonna have some quiet time myself. And I'm gonna come back whenever we finish up the crock pot meal, cause I have some more stuff I have to add in there for the last like 20 minutes that it cooks. And we may do a taste test too. Quiet time, yeah. It's not in my pocket. Are you ready for quiet time? It's my phone. That's your phone? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> All right, so it's been three and a half hours and it is bubbling. So now I have to add three cups of elbow macaroni noodles. So I'm just gonna do most of it. And then you're just supposed to cover it back up and let it cook for 20 more minutes. And then after that, you can add cheese if you want to, which we're going to. The noodles were done in about 20 minutes and then I just went ahead and added the cheese in and we are about to taste test it. This one was Joshua's idea, so if it's nasty, it's your fault. It's hot. It tastes a little bit like um, chili with noodles in it, except there's no beans in it. Mm. No. Yeah. You don't have to agree with me. It tastes pretty good. Mm -hmm. It is good. We didn't have the boss. The no, we had that balsamic. What? The Worcestershire sauce. Wor Worcestershire. I don't know how to say it. I don't know how much of a difference it would have made, but it's pretty good. Mhm. Mm Sound a little nice little fall comfort food. Did you put any onions in it? Mhm. Mm you don't taste them or something? Mhm. Mm yeah. Not really. Really? Maybe it's because they're like small. Because I use that little chopper thing. 
Oh. Not bad. It's good. TikTok likes to make my likes to make my videos disappear. Drafts. Still rolling on the vlog. I'm, just I'm not done. <laughs> I gave you like a sampling, not a full bowl. How are you gonna smile for your picture tomorrow? He that no, that's not what we want. I don't want it. You don't want it? How are you gonna smile for your picture tomorrow? Good job. They got their TV blaring in here. Tomorrow's school picture day for both of them. And like I said, Bryce has a mosquito bite right here. I'm hoping that the like retouching that they do on the pictures is enough to blur out his mosquito bite. I'm getting out of here, it's loud in here. My whole entire house is very, very loud. So, hiding in my bedroom. I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave and we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. I made you feel feel alone you spent most of your nights just sitting on your